welcome back to microbial concepts so today we are going to discuss a practical related to biofertilizers that is isolation of phosphate solubilizing microorganisms okay so the isolation is done then the uh, organism is um, purified and on large scale the cell mass is produced and then it is uh, applied as a biofertilizer in fields okay so why we need phosphate solubilizing microbes the role of phosphate solubilizing microbes is they uh, convert the insoluble phosphate into soluble one and it does it makes it available for plants so what are the functions of phosphorus energy storage transformation cell structure components then in respiration photosynthesis cell enlargement and division and in root development so for for all these functions plant requires phosphorus okay and this is another picture where you will see what all are the other applications or roles that phosphate solubilizing microbes they um, have okay so phosphorus phosphorus is a second limiting nutrient okay so phosphorus is one of the essential micronutrient which is required for plant growth it is abundant in soil but it is not readily available for plants so phosphate solubilization by some soil bacteria they makes the p that is phosphorus available in the soil solution for plant growth and thus it is considered as an important attribute for plant growth promoting rhizobacteria now what are rhizobacteria so rhizobacteria are bacteria which are associated with the roots of plant or you can say bacteria which are uh, present in the rhizosphere so rhizosphere is the soil which is present uh, nearby the roots that is the rhizosphere and rhizobacteria are one which are found in that particular soil or which are associated with the roots the total phosphorus in soil it accounts roughly for 0.04 uh, to 0.1% and only a very tiny proportion of phosphorus is uh, that is soluble one it can directly be assimilated by plants okay so very very small proportion is in soluble form which can be assimilated or can be used by plants as a large proportion of phosphorus is in soil that is in organic insoluble form thus the bacteria play very important role in converting that phosphorus into soluble one so this is a simple uh, image where you can see all the uh, psf is phosphate solubilizing fungi PSB is phosphate solubilizing bacteria and PSA is phosphate solubilizing actinomycetes so they have different mechanisms through which the they uh, solubilize phosphorus and thus it is made available for plant growth okay so what is the mechanism that these bacteria or these microbes they apply so these microbes they have ability to release some metabolites such as organic acids um, through which their hydroxyl or carboxyl groups uh, of the organic acid that chelates the ions which are bound to phosphate and later been converted to the soluble form okay so just in simple uh, one line you can explain as they release some metabolites such as organic acids which help in conversion of inorganic uh, insoluble phosphorus to the soluble one now what is the importance of psm psm is phosphate solubilizing microbes so they are mainly used in biofertilizers as they hydrolyze insoluble phosphorus to the soluble one and another is they may aid in the growth of plants by stimulating the efficiency of biological nitrogen fixation synthesizing photo uh, phytohormones uh, that are uh, one which are uh, which we can also term as growth promoting hormones so phytohormones and enhancing the availability of some trace elements such as zinc and iron now about the practical so very important uh, point here is the media that we use so picus kaya agar is widely used for 
uh, isolation of phosphate solubilizing microbes so it is uh, readily available in dehydrated form if not if you don't have access to that then you can make it in your prepare it in your lab okay so these are the ingredients of picoskaya's agar so for um, getting more information related to any culture media you can refer to high media's pdf uh, which are present on uh, google just type the name of the media and high media you will get the pdf so you can go through the um, composition and also you will get to know what is the principle behind that particular culture media and how to interpret results okay so now in this case of picoskaya agar yeast extract in the medium it provides nitrogen and other nutrients which are necessary for bacterial growth then dextrose it acts as energy source different salts and yeast extract support the growth of microorganisms and phosphate solubilizing bacteria once they are grown on this medium and if they are able to solubilize the phosphate then you will see a clear zone around a colony and thus you can select that particular colony and proceed for identification now requirements and procedure so requirements is first is sample so sample can be from say garden soil farm soil or even compost okay then sterile distilled water sterile plates of picoskaya agar now you weigh 1 g of soil sample and dispense it in sterile distilled water under a septic condition and then mix well and keep it undisturbed for 15 minutes after that you use the supernatant uh, say 100 microliters for spread plit technique or you can directly go for streak plit it depends on you thus after doing that yes you have to incubate your plates at 27 to 30 degrees celsius for 5 to 7 days now why 5 to 7 days because first your cultures will start growing and slowly uh, they will start solubilizing phosphate so it requires time to observe some clear zones okay so that's the reason 5 to 7 days of incubation is necessary then observe for growth and mainly zone of clearance around microbial colonies then select the colonies that has highest zone of clearance and you can proceed for isolate identification now this is how you will observe your plate with clear zone okay the plate of picoskaya agar is actually opaque so once the phosphate uh, surrounding the bacterial colony is solubilized you will see some clear zones okay and that's how you interfere that um, sorry interpret that you have isolated some uh, phosphate solubilizing microbes now you should calculate or measure the zone of clearance of each isolate that shows the zone of clearance okay and one which has the highest zone of clearance that is the actual colony that you should select for uh, your further aim now zone of clearance is calculated as diameter of zone of clearance minus diameter of zone of bacterial colony okay so this is the zone of clearance total zone of clearance so you will measure its diameter and you will minus the diameter of bacterial colony and you will get the zone of clearance actual zone of clearance another term that is phosphate solubilizing index is what it is actually the ratio of total diameter that is colony plus hollow zone okay so this total diameter you calculate that and uh, divided by the colony diameter that is how you get the ratio then you record all the results and select the isolate that shows highest zone of clearance okay now about identification so after doing that um, you can go for colony morphology then subculture you isolate for culture preservation do gram staining and biochemical test you have to perform biochemical test after referring to burgee's manual of determinative bacteriology and try to identify your isolate till at least till genus level okay so some of the examples of uh, phosphate solubilizing micro microorganisms are pseudomonas agrobacterium bacillus then some fungal species like penicillium aspergillus 
even some actinomycetes and arbuscular mycorrhiza are known for solubilizing phosphate okay then you may get a, another question in viva that what is difference between solubilization and mobilization okay so here is the difference so phosphate solubilizing microbes they solubilize insoluble phosphate to the soluble one okay and mobilize or mobilization is microbes they release and mobilize insoluble and fixed form of phosphate in the soil so that is uh, or we can say mobilization is just making it available for plants to absorb okay the mechanism is organic acid production proton exclusion and chelation and in case of mobilization solubilization of um, absorbed phosphate pools and mineralization of organic phosphate compounds okay so this is the difference here actually insoluble phosphate is converted to soluble here one which is fixed which is uh, insoluble or say which is soluble it is made available to plants now some viva questions so what is the importance of phosphate solubilizing bacteria or microbes then what are the applications name some phosphate solubilizing microbes how psb that is or psm they are beneficial to plants the difference between solubilization and mobilization media used for isolation then how to calculate zone of clearance how to calculate phosphate solubilizing index and then last list some different roles of psm on growth and development of plants okay so yeah we are done with this practical i hope you like my video do share my video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and keep supporting thank you